In this video, we will be demonstrating the Bench Top Heat Exchanger range of demonstration units from Tech Equipment. It includes the Heat Exchanger service module and a range of experiments. The TD360, the service module that you can see here, is the core of the range that helps engineering students learn about the fundamentals of heat exchangers, in particular in what scenario a given heat exchanger is going to be the most effective. Using the service module that you can see here at the University of Lincoln, lab technicians can swap out the different heat exchangers to record the flow and temperature changes to make comparisons. Let's take a look at the Benchtop Heat Exchanger service module in more detail. This compact frame sits on a bench top and features two water circuits, a hot and a cold. The heat exchangers available separately fit onto the front of the service module like this and then connect to the water circuits like this. The unit is 760 millimetres wide, 610 millimetres from front to back and 600 millimetres high, weighing 40 kilograms. It requires a clean water supply with a drainage point the cold water comes in via a flow regulator, through a needle valve, through the optional heat exchanger and out to a suitable drain. The hot water has an electric heater with an adjustable controller to set the tank temperature. Inside there are float switches connected to indicators to show how much water is in the tank. The button here contains a solenoid valve which allows you to fill the tank from a cold water supply seen here. The water is circulated through a closed loop from the tank through a needle valve, through the heat exchanger and back to the tank by a pump found at the back of the unit. To protect against the water becoming dangerously hot, there's a thermostat that will cut off power to the heater when the temperature rises beyond approximately 68 Celsius. This can be quickly reset once the water temperature is at an acceptable level, allowing students to return to their studies. As an additional safety feature, the TD360 has high and low level interlocks actuated by float switches to prevent overfilling and heater damage. Tech Equipment designs products with ease of use and setup in mind. This is why we've fitted flexible pipes with quick release connectors to the hot and cold circuits. And to avoid mistakes, we've made both of these different. As you can see here, that next to each connector is a K-type thermocouple. These connect the sockets on the service module to measure the water temperature at the inlet and outlet of heat exchangers. The temperatures are displayed on these LCDs along with flow rates taken from the flow sensors. Optional versatile data acquisition system VDAS, the hardware and the software that automatically logs data from the experiments into tables that can be transferred to charts. It performs calculations such as specific heat capacities and creates charts and tables that can be exported to other software such as Microsoft Excel. VDAS is not essential for carrying out tests, but it does speed up the recording of results significantly. Let's have a look at the heat exchangers. There's four in total. These are available for purchasing separately. You do need at least one to do the experiments with this piece of equipment. We recommend the concentric tube heat exchanger as a starting experiment. The reason for this is that it has extra thermocouples, giving the measured midpoint temperature. The concentric tube heat exchanger, the TD360A, is a simple shell and tube heat exchanger. It has two sets of tubes, each tube with another inside of it. The inner tubes carry the water from the hot circuits of the service module, and the other known as the shell carries water from the cold circuit. Students can experiment with both parallel flow, where the hot and cold are running in the same direction, and counter flow, where they run in opposite directions. The plate heat exchanger, the TD360B, is made up from alternating hot and cold layers separated by a metallic plate, acting as a heat transfer surface. Again, you can experiment with parallel and concentric flow. In the real world, this particular application is good for situations where space is limited. So the size and the amount of plates determines the performance of the heat exchanger. So the more plates, the greater the heat transfer area, but there is a trade-off in terms of increased flow resistance. 
Commercial heat exchangers have chevron shapes pressed into the surface of the metal to increase their surface area and disturb the flow for better heat transfer. This particular experiment has small flow disruptors to do a similar job. The shell and tube heat exchanger, the TD360C, is the most common heat exchanger used in many industries. As you can see, there's a large tube. This is the shell. It surrounds several smaller tubes. These are referred to as a bundle. One water circuit passes through the bundle and another through the shell, with heat transferring between them. The bundle itself has baffles to help create a turbulent flow to mix up the water within the shell. Lastly, we have a heat exchanger that mimics those in the process industry, the jacketed vessel with coil and stirrer, the TD360D. There's an outer vessel with a jacket and inside it another vessel that has an inlet and it's its top an overflow outlet at the high level to trap a batch of cold water. This allows a test on a fixed batch of water or you can leave the water running for a continuous flow test at a fixed level. Let me explain in more detail how this works. The hot water is connected to the jacket around the inner vessel so that heat transfers through the metal wall of the inner vessel. This is referred to as jacket heating. The hot water circuit can also be connected to the coil inside the vessel so that the heat transfers through the metal wall of the coil, referred to as coil heating. The inner vessel includes an extra thermocouple to measure its water temperature and a stirrer with adjustable speed to show how stirring can affect heat transfer. For more information about other products and tech equipment's thermodynamics range, click on the links in the description box below. Thank you for watching.